Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to use the squeeze theorem to show that the limit as x approaches zero of x squared times cosine of 20 pi x is equal to zero. And we're gonna do this by graphing the functions negative x squared, x squared times cosine of 20 pi x, and x squared on the same screen. So if we pull up our graph of just x squared and negative x squared, we can see, and also we know if we just plugged in zero directly, that the limit as x approaches zero of these two functions is zero, right? We can see that they're going to zero. And if we plug in our function that we're looking for the limit of, we can see that, you know, it's very hard to see where it's going, but we can see that it's between the values of x squared and negative x squared, no matter where um, we are on the x-axis. And especially as we approach zero is where it's important. Near zero, the value of this function is less than the value of x squared and it's greater than the value of negative x squared. So therefore, we can say that the limit as x approaches zero of f of x right, negative x squared is equal to zero. And the limit as x approaches zero of h of x, x squared, is also equal to zero. And we just showed that our function g of x is less than or equal to h of x and greater than or equal to f of x near x equals zero. Therefore, by the squeeze theorem, the limit as x approaches zero of g of x is equal to zero. Uh, 